well, one of the things that we've seen with social media is just how much more students are starting to use more than one device. So it's jumping up incrementally every year and pretty soon that's what everybody's going to be doing. And we know this digital native generation, they really love to get across multiple platforms on all their devices, looking at everything, checking it out. So just how much does it really influence their decision about where to study and why to study somewhere? So we've seen some variation between countries, namely students from Singapore, about 30% of them are influenced by online. So they're really a country where people are heavily influenced by their parents, for example. But compare that with the Philippines and the numbers are about 57%. So there's quite a variation there in what's going on. And I think um, one of the key messages for us in terms of marketing and what we do and how we learn from the research and what it tells us is that people are now working across platforms. So your social channels and your web channels really have to interact and work together well. We've done a few different trials in the last few months. Um, one of them looking at some split testing with EDMs where we tried three different calls to action. And in fact, we found one was way better than the others. We used the ability to randomly put up different calls to action to see which had the best conversion. One of them was at about 38%, while the other was at about 18%. So obviously, fine-tuning your calls to action, they're really important. One of the other ones that we did was really looking at the use of video versus static imagery. And we certainly found that video increased the, uh, the click-through rates, if you like, by as much as three times versus static imagery, even though we had some really catchy static imagery. And then finally, people love to tell you what they think. So getting onto Facebook, setting up surveys, really trying to engage your fans on the site and ask them what do they think about you, hey, it's a great way to capture information really fast. We got 2,500 survey responses in just 10 days. So this is how you can use research and marketing together to really drive students to your sites and to your institution.